Hello and welcome to our video. This is the getting started guide how to use quick sell Joomla extension. So first thing we need to do is install it. Let's install the latest copy. It will take like 30 seconds. This package contains the component, the modules and plugins that come with it. It's very easy to do the initial setup. First thing you need to do is make sure that the quick sell buttons plugin is enabled and that you have gave a position to the cart module if you're going to use the shopping cart. You need to publish it, you can change the name if you want and you should assign a position. In our case we're going to use the already active position 7. Okay, from here you can go to quick sell, configuration, payment modules, activate PayPal and enter your PayPal email that will receive the payments. If you want you can also enable sandbox te test mode to test without using real money. From here we can save the configuration and we can go to the upload section. Here we can add files like this sample ebook I have prepared. The upload is complete. You can sell any file type with quick sell, but in this demonstration we're also going to show you how the PDF protection works. We're going to enable care security code encryption and bar information in header settings. We're going to save and we're going to the file section to create another button for our product. We're going to give it a price of $1 and copy the code. We're going to the articles and we're going to the article that is going to contain our order form. So, here you can buy our ebook and paste the code. From here we save and we can directly open the main page of the website. This article we just edited is assigned as the home page of our website. So let's do a test transaction. Click buy now and we're redirected to the sandbox PayPal page. Here we can do a test payment without using real money. Okay, we click but pay now and we're going back to our website. You see this message because PayPal sometimes takes like 5, 10, 15 seconds in order to confirm the order. This means the time that's needed PayPal to connect to QuickSell and tell it that there is an, a successful transaction. So, the order is complete, the password is visible, it's available in the default thank you page template and we're now going to download our sample ebook that we just bought. As you can see the downloaded file is encrypted. So now we need to paste our email address used for payment in the password section in order to be able to open the ebook. Here we have our first watermark that's in the header. It contains, in this case, the user email. Here on the bottom, we have another watermark. It contains more information. Basically, the username, the uh, user ID, and the pair email and transaction number and order uh, date uh, when this information that comes with the transaction. Okay, so let's do another test. Here we're going to use the, the Stripe, Stripe payment gateway 
and we're going to accept credit cards direct on this test website. Let's go to configure and let's activate Stripe, deactivate PayPal. Once we filled in our credentials, we can save the configuration. Now if you go to the home page of the website, we can click buy now and we're directly sent to the uh, to the payment page. So here we enter our details and the test credit card number. That we're going to use for this order. Click submit. The order is complete. The credit card payment is processed, and we can download the book we just paid with with the credit card from the thank you page. The password again is the buyer's email address. So thank you for your interest in my plugin. I will be happy to assist if something comes up. Just let me know. My email is support at shopfiles.com. Thank you.